your personal protocol for staying fit and healthy, for hopefully for long enough for uh, the longevity escape velocity? Uh, yeah, that's a great question. So uh, I think nutrition is very important. So I try to eat uh, or consume a longevity diet, as I highlighted before. So less red meat, I uh, mainly eat fatty fish and white meat and a lot of vegetables and a lot of healthy fats. So my diet, very important. Um, secondly, I take a lot of supplements. Um, so I take both health supplements and longevity supplements. Uh, so longevity supplements are supplements that um, uh, have that act on aging itself uh, or have shown to slow down uh, aging and extend lifespan in humans or uh, in animals and so on. Um, these are substances like uh, glucosamine, microdose lithium, alpha ketoglutarate, uh, fisetine, uh, magnesium malate, um, and so on. So all, all, all let's say, very interesting longevity uh, uh, supplements. Then I also take health supplements. So these are more vitamins and minerals that have shown not really to extend maximum lifespan. So if you give uh, uh, these vitamins and minerals to animals, they are not going to live longer. Um, but uh, if you are deficient in them, they, they will make you uh, live shorter. Uh, so it's very important to make sure you have enough magnesium, enough B, vitamin, B vitamins, uh, omega-3 fatty acids, um, uh, iodine, uh, calcium and so on. Um, because I don't drink milk, for example, because I think milk uh, accelerates aging in many ways. Uh, it's a very strong activator of mTOR and other aging pathways and so on. Can talk about for hours about milk and aging, but not going to do that. But given I don't drink milk, uh, I take calcium supplements, for example. Uh, I also take vitamin D. I take vitamin K supplements. Um, I take iodine uh, in higher levels than what governments recommend uh, because probably yeah, these recommendations are still not optimal. Um, I take B vitamins, zinc, uh, a bit of copper and, and so on. Um, so these are more my health supplement stack. And um, uh, then of course, uh, I also try to uh, reduce stress and uh, re I've read a lot of books on happiness and positive psychology. Uh, so I also meditate and I do a, did a little bit of yoga when I was younger. Uh, I should do it again. I also have some devices um, to relax. Uh, I have a cove device. You put it on and it creates gentle vibrations. Uh, and they have done some clinical trials showing it uh, can have some health effects for relaxation. Um, so uh, I use also a smartwatch uh, to track my steps and movements and get uh, make sure I get enough exercise. I'm very uh, mindful of my sleep um, in that regard. So um, I, uh, I uh, have like an aura ring. I have where it now uh, tracks my uh, sleep stages, uh, measures deep sleep versus REM sleep and heart rate variability and so on. So I use some medical devices and gadgets uh, uh, to also uh, monitor my health or uh, uh, try to uh, try to improve also my health. Um, so yeah, I think uh, that, that's a bit my uh, my protocol. Uh, so the nutrition very important, the supplements. Um, sleep optimization, uh, positive psychology and happiness, um, exercise, uh, of course, not smoking. Uh, these are all things I, I, I try to take care of. And it's actually not that difficult. And people say, well, if, if you all have to do all this, doesn't longevity become a full-time job? Uh, well, it's, it is my full-time job, that's true. But uh, it helps me to, it's, it's not that much effort because when it comes a habit, becomes a habit, it's, it becomes very easy. But um, it really helps me to be so much more productive and to feel so much better. Uh, if I eat unhealthy, uh, I, I have more brain fog, I sleep longer, uh, I uh, can concentrate less well. Um, so the healthy diet uh, it really improves my quality of life so, so much that it's, uh, yeah, it makes so much sense to, to keep sticking to it. And, and you can eat healthy very easily. So it's not uh, difficult. Uh, instead of red meat, I just eat fatty fish or, or white meat. So it's not that I have to make huge sacrifices. Uh, it's actually qu quite easy and uh, not that difficult to implement. Excellent. So thank you so much. So, so last question. So where can people find more about you and, uh, and the work you're doing? Yeah, so uh, I have a website, ChristopherBerg.com, uh, and also I have an Instagram account, uh, just Christopher Berg, uh, together in one word. 
And um, uh, I also have written a couple of books. So uh, my last book is called The Longevity Code. Um, that it uh, really, uh, a lot of things we discussed are mentioned also in the book. Uh, so uh, what are the best ways to, uh, to live longer diet-wise? So a large part of the book is uh, about uh, nutrition and supplements for longevity. Uh, but also another part uh, of the book goes about novel biotechnologies to address aging and so on. So I think that book, The Longevity Code, is also uh, an interesting resource a resource for people who want to learn more about uh, nutrition for longevity and uh, uh, biotechnology uh, for to live a longer, healthier life, and to hopefully re reach escape uh, longevity escape velocity. Okay, thank you. We will definitely add those links into the description. And so, uh, Dr. Verberg, thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure, and thank you for the great conversation.